Hello and welcome to Sarah Plays episode... <laughs> Sarah Plays Don't Starve episode 8. I'm Sarah and I cannot speak today. So, it's summer. It's hot. It is not bearable in this place. I need some... Probably some more summer gear. Um, one thing I could be getting is... Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. One thing I could be getting is uh, an ice helmet but I need some stuff before I can do that let's go ahead and take care of this hunger a little bit uh, oh and I believe I still haven't explored the desert no I explored the desert I haven't explored this um this would be a good good idea to go through while it's summer so, uh, while what because while it's summer we can get the health flowers so let's go do that Another one of my goals for this episode or next would be to get some of the materials we can use to make uh, the shadow manipulator because we need to start working on getting to shipwrecked again. So let's do that. Let's make sure you're going the right way. Mm, you know, don't starve and all that. I really don't need to pick up anything like green, green mushrooms or anything like that right now because I do have these gears that I designated specifically for eating. But it'd be nice to get back to shipwreck so we can get more gears. It's been tw 21 days now, so I bet by the time we get back in there that there will be some floaty boat nights. Assuming that's how that works. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one. I've not, I mean, I've also, I feel like uh, this world's had a lack of these checkerboard uh, pattern floors where the knights and, you know, bishops and all that stuff will spawn. It seems, it seems like there could have been more than there have been. So we must have not found all of them in the world, or there is just a low amount. That can happen sometimes. Like anything else, it's just kind of random in this game. Procedurally generated worlds, after all. Let's see if we can grab this tumbleweed. Uh, I'll leave it in my inventory until I need to get rid of it, but I don't need it on me, so... But yeah, if you, um, as long as you're, uh, picking up these cactus flowers when you wear a log suit and, uh, helmet, you're, you're fine. Like, you're taking one damage every time. It's no biggie. So what I'll do, actually, remove that here. Yeah, and then let's fucking go. Let's get all of them. I could like leave my backpack somewhere or something and just like do nothing but the cactus thing but it's kind of inconvenient to do that so I'm just gonna do this. There's a couple near each other though I mean might as well go for them like that. We got Chester anyways. Yeah, he's carrying my niter, which I will need during the summer. You can see my temperature is still pretty high, even though it's nighttime. <clears throat> but these, uh, these give you eight health each but that's not even the the good part about them you can cook them and get like ridiculous health items it's pretty convenient especially in the summer really when shit like first of all these do spoil quickly that is an important part of this but yeah they're convenient during the summer because you're going to be taking heat damage all the time 
I mean, really, unless you have an ice block or an ice amulet. Which me, an ice helmet or an ice amulet. I'll just... They're right next to each other. Try to keep an eye on the durability of these things, though. It'd probably be prudent. I mean, this is really just for optimal sake at this point, because... I mean, look at my health. I got more health than the maximum health of e any character in the game. I don't really need to be too worried. Um, there it is. Duh. But yeah, that's about to kick in, so I'm gonna have to cool off. Probably. Try to be careful around the doggo. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm not a big fan of these hound dogs right now. Gotta say. And I really should be keeping that on my inventory, I think. Yeah. I'll just, co I'll just do that. And that. Because I don't need them. Like another one. So I'm not being an idiot. And I, yeah, I should go back into the caves at some point. Let's get my temperature down real quick. And then we can go back to what we were doing. Oh. I wish you could, like, cook stuff in an endothermic fire, but that wouldn't really make sense, would it? I mean, they're, like, cold. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I try to be optimal about it, but it doesn't really matter. Just put the umbrella back on for shade. Just try to avoid the, the hound dogs if at all possible. I don't need that at all. Damn, where are the rest of the where are the rest of the cactuses? Wouldn't it be cool if you could extract cactus juice from cactuses and start hallucinating or something? There's a mod for that. I don't know if it's with cactus juice specifically. Hey, this is not at all a bad thing. I'll just grab that one raw because I don't want to have to deal with that dog. And here are all the fucking frogs from the time that we had the frog rain. Glad that happened over here because that would still be in my base. And yeah, that's enough. We'll just go ahead and go back. It's a good resource during summer though. Of course, any that we find on the way back, might as well pick up. But you, as you can see, these have a very low spoil time. So, gotta put them in the fridge immediately.
their spoil time is especially made bad by the fact that in the summer things spoil um, like twice as quickly. Or something like that. I don't know how the math works. I think it's like they have 75% of their normal length before they spoil. Oh, that's no good. I believe it's 70 that it goes into the red mode. Let us continue onward. Get this last one over here. didn't work. Destroy all spiders. And, uh, actually, I can use this to heal a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And then... I don't like how low my lantern is at all. I do have that. I guess it's a backup. I mean, it is literally a backup. Standard, usual stuff. I gotta get, I gotta get cold real quick. Actually, I should make another one. Keep backing it up. Cause I'm, I'm starting to run out. I'm gonna have to go destroy all these rocks with my cock. Probably in the near future. All right, let's. Well, I can't use that. I have to use this. Where do we want to go next? So let's see if we have the stuff to make my shadow manipulator because I just found that nightmare fuel. Uh, I have. I know I have the purple gems. And now I believe I believe I only had one more nightmare fuel to get, and then I needed wood, which I have. So I think I can make it. That would be super rad if I could make it this episode. Because the shadow manipulator is what you use to make the um, the seaworthy, and the seaworthy is what you get. Or used to go back to shipwreck. We use the seaworthy from shipwreck to get to reign of giants, which that one spawns automatically. But now we need to make it to go back. And now that it's daytime and there's a lot of suns in the sky, well, actually there's just one sun. I don't know why I said that, but there's a sun in the sky, so we gotta stop being hot. Pick up some of these flowers and just heal a little bit. Why not? I should come back and dig up those stumps at some point as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Continue to follow this road until we get to our bitch's house. Refuel that. Alright, what do I need to make that shit? Okay. Oh, I needed living logs. That was the that was the one thing that we needed that I couldn't get. Put this in here. And do I even have enough purple gems? Yeah, you only need one, I guess. I guess if I'm gonna have so much wood, might as well make two more chests. 
to get rid of some of these boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the second one down. Start putting shit in. Well, I guess like. You act like you've never been around 70 Celsius before. Jeez. I'm gonna... Actually, I forgot. I don't even need to do that. All I need to do is come up here and do this. Since that's rotting, I guess I'll just put it with the other rot. What do I need to make the sea worthy while I'm thinking about it? Living logs and nightmare fuel. So what we need to be, we need to be farming up uh, more of those living logs. I, I know that there's one of those trees somewhere around like the living trees. I'm just gonna have to find it again. They show up on the map. They're different. They're a different kind of like icon. But they only spawn in biomes that are like with these evergreen trees. That's the one way you can tell. I'm not seeing it. That doesn't mean it's not there. I do remember seeing it, I think. Well, either way. Well, this will have to wrap up this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And if you are, please consider dropping a like or something. And I will see you next time. Bye.